I'm going to show you, or I'm going to demonstrate how to subtract mixed numbers with unlike denominators uh, using renaming by using the number line strategy. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a number line, an open number line. And with subtracting on an open number line, my second number goes first because I'm essentially uh, finding the difference between these two. So I'm going to be counting on from here to here. So it's one and five fourths, and I'm going to be counting on to four and one third. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to think about is what is my next whole number, and I'm going to make a jump to that next whole number. I'm at one, so the next whole number would be two. This does not need to be to scale. Um, so to get from one and five fourths to two, I need to think about how many more fifths it would take to get to the next whole number. And I know that with four fifths, one more fifth would make a whole number. So this jump was plus one fifth. Now from two to four, I could jump to three to four, but I already know that I want to jump to four. So I'm jumping to four, which is a jump of plus two whole. Now from four to four and one third, it's a jump of one third. Now I'm going to add up all of my jumps. I have two plus one fifth plus one third. I have, I don't, my denominators are not the same, so I need to convert both of them to have like denominators. I done my bubble method in another step, but I'll show you again. If you didn't already know that the common denominator is 15, you would do the bubble method. Prime factors of 5 and 3. Prime factors go in. 5, I don't have a first 3, so I put the 3 in. My common denominator is 15. So now I'm going to rewrite my problem. 2 plus 1 fifth. 1 fifth I would multiply by 3 thirds to get a common denominator of 15. And 1 third I would multiply by 5 fifths because I know that 3 times 5 would give me 15. So now I have 2 plus 1 times 3 is 3, 5 times 3 is 15, plus 1 times 5 is 5, 3 times 5 is 15. Now I'm going to simplify. So I've got 2, and 3 plus 5 is 8 fifteenths. Um, I always tell the students to use to make sure it can't be simplified and to use do prime factorization. Prime factors of 8 are 2 times 2 times 2. If I didn't know that, I would do factor trees. For 15, it's 3 times 5. So there's no factors in common, which means this is simplified, and this is the answer.